Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, and I thought I'd come back today with a Dollar Tree haul. Uh, a lot of this has been <laughs> sitting for a while, like I said. I don't know why, it looks like I'm off to the side. Um, has been sitting for a while uh, while I wasn't well and I didn't show it, so I <laughs> went into the garage today and looked and I have several things that um, have been there for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get started. So the first thing that I got, uh, I don't think I need to show all of them, but I got a whole bunch of these treat bags with snowmen, gingerbread. This is like a peace, love, and joy. I'm so sorry. And there goes Hazel. The red truck. And I got these to share with friends. This penguin one and a different penguin one. So I do send out things in these little bags. So I love to have them every year. Uh, but also, I'm going to send some of those bags to friends. Here's another style. And then I got the, like, little sandwich bag ones. I love these to zip, you know, ribbon and lace and beads and things in to send out. What else did I get? I got some of the little bags that zip. Merry Christmas with the dove. These are paper sacks with the red truck. I love those. Uh, some more of the little ones with poinsettias. Da -de -da -de -da. This was an interesting little find. It's three sticky notepads. Uh, one that looks like a llama. The other one says stuff to do. And then the, the last one is just colors. I use these in my journals all the time. I use them for journaling cards. I stick them to cardstock and cut them out. I found some watermelon washi. I love watermelon. And then some red bells for Christmas crafts. This is my favorite tape. This double-sided tape by Crafter Square. This is what I use to put journaling cards and pockets and things in my journals. I love it. It used to come three to a pack and three different widths from Dollar Tree. Now you only get one roll for a dollar and they only have one size, but I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I just love that glue. I have a couple more of those puzzle books I showed before where I'm gonna take them apart and decoupage them, paint them, make them into little booklets. I got some sloth stickers and some penguin stickers. And there were more. There were hippos. Mm. Got some more of these pokey tools. I use these all the time to peel tape and poke holes and things. They're, they're just, I have to have those on hand. I've given out, I have some for myself, and I've given out this gemmed ribbon that comes in the purple and blue, the pink and kind of the reddish purple color, I guess. I'm not really sure what that is. There was a red one. I don't know what happened to that. And then the yellow and green. So I keep buying these when I see them to for giveaways and for friend mail. They're just so pretty and you can cut them. I've used them in my journals and I've shown that. Um, then I just have in here, oh, I did find, it looks like oranges, I guess. Washi, really pretty on the pink background. I picked up two of these little baskets and I, I use these all the time for putting my cuttings in from magazines because I love to, to collage and glue book and I use a lot of images in mixed media. So I sort my images into these baskets and they stack and doesn't take up very much room. So I like that. Oh, here we go. Hippos. Some little like award type stickers. Some more of the animals. I love those. And 
cats. So let me make a little more space here. Sorry about that. I won't have any place to put anything else to show you. Also got these stickers to do my daughter's journals with. Mm. She was into the hippie things, peace, love, happiness, all that. So I got this for her journaling for me to make for her. No, she's not here. Okay, so I got a couple of these tumblers. We call them, some people call them takeout mugs. Um, my grandson, Sean, he's here with me and he loves to take these cups to his media room because he likes the lid. They don't spill. He doesn't have a glass of soda or a glass of juice and it spills all over the carpet. He really likes these. So I picked up, I love the red truck and the gnomes. A lot of people have already shown these. Again, along the same line as those blue baskets, I got four of the green for images and for craft items that I'm working on at one time. If I'm just making something, I'll put whatever I need in a couple of these and just, I can tote them around if I want to sit at the dining room table or in the living room. They only had one of this one and it's pretty flimsy, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to put anything super heavy in it here in the craft room. So I got one of these picks that has an apple and a pine cone on it for crafts and berries. And then my friend Lise, who watches my channel, she sent me a heads up that Dollar Tree had been had gotten dog and cat playing cards. No way. No way. So I've been hunting them at my Dollar Trees, haven't found them. And then um, one day I went into a Dollar Tree and they were in the most unlikely place on a little kiosk up by the register behind the back of it so you couldn't see you had to walk you know crawl around the other side because there was no space anyway I got them dog and cat playing cards adorable now I I won't use these for for games I will use these in my journals I love these you know you can just have the cute pictures glued to your journal you can put paper on the back so you can write on them whatever you want to do with those so I got a couple of those this is another no way I saw this at the register and I almost fainted dead away sloth sticky notes okay I'm not going to say how many of these I got I got a front door ornament, and I think Tina Kazarian showed these. I want this for the front of the journal, Christmas journal. I got some little hand sanitizer and a sloth, unicorn sloth. <laughs> How cute is he on the rainbow? Oh, this is that other color that has like the red in it. Red and pink. So... And then I got these yoga activity cards. <laughs> They're so silly, but I got them. Let me show you. I got them for my journal. And where's a pokey told me to need one? So these little yoga cards have animals doing the different positions. Standing half forward, Ben, look at the panda. <laughs> so these are going to be cards for my journals. So cute. See what else is down here. Oh, I had got the girl cutouts before and they didn't have the boy ones. I like to collage on these and then use them in the mixed media. I got one box of these Christmas cards for a dollar. I mean, I really liked the snowman in the jar, and I can cut him out 
or I can use the whole card in one of my Christmas journals. You only get six, but I don't need very many. I got two of these elf leg ornaments, but they're for making gnomes. Also for making gnomes and snowmen hats and things, I got this little red scarf. Now the material's not very wide, but it's certainly wide enough for me to make a little snowman hat out of, several snowman hats out of. And thanks to Tina Epp, Tina, she showed the, these gnome socks. They were in the men's socks section. I had to have them. I, I wear men's socks all the time. I, I have a big foot size, women's size 10. Um, sometimes the men's are even a little tight on me. So I got a pair of those. I got the Gnome for the Holidays pot holders. Sean and I are always setting um, hot stew and chili and soup bowls on these when we take them to watch TV or whatever. So they get spilled on and they get washed all the time. So I got the red truck ones that say dashing through the snow. Super cute. All right, what's next? bag is full folks I mean it's a it's a Tuesday morning shopping bag that I just put all the little Dollar Tree bags in I got one of these foam balls for crafts one of these red trucks with the tree what is going on there I don't know green bells in the small size they have different sizes but I got the small ones Hedgehog washi tape. I love hedgehogs. Pretty much I love all critters. This is narwhals and rainbows and things on this one. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Oh yeah, I got some stickers I make you know you guys know I make journals and um, when I make a summer one I'll have these on hand these three part summer stickers I'm not showing that she'll know it's for her um, when I make my school journal from when I was teaching and you know, I've collected started collecting things for school themed and I found these school stickers so I'll use those for my teacher journal um, this is just a generic one love I love the um, hot air balloon says hugs and kisses I adore the typewriter and you get some sentiments and some letters these Halloween little notebooks like the one Michelle sent me that said happy haunting. I found them that are just little pumpkins. So I can put those in my journals and I can send them out as well. Little gold bells. This was the only candle like this and it didn't have the wrapper in the top. So I'm guessing it was just kind of sitting around, but I really liked it. It has snowflakes and the buffalo print check all around it i'm not a buffalo check fan at all um i know my friends are um but i just loved this with the snowflakes on it that totally changed my mind about that check because with the snowflakes on it i love it the ladies too much in here or something okay. yeah. i got some little <laughs> i can't believe you get 100 of these what am i gonna do with 100 of these little baking cups these are the little ones like that people put candies in and um, I use them for art, flatten them out and use them for crafts um, in my art journals and things. A six pack of the smaller balls. So I have three sizes now I could do snowmen. This washi is gummy bears. How stinking cute are they? And I love these labels that they sell at Dollar Tree. I have all shapes and colors and sizes. This one just happens to be banners. And I've used these in my art journals. A 
Sean's up. I hear the music thumping. He hasn't been doing feeling so well, so he's been I've been letting him sleep in. Um, three piece witch brooms. I won't be using these this year. Um, I'm done with Halloween crafts for this year, but I'm gonna save them for next year. I got calendars. Um, I don't use these to hang on the wall. I cut these up and use them in my collages and my mixed media. So I got this one. I make glue books, which is basically just a big collage book of any images on every page, images that you love. And you just cut them out and arrange them the way you want and glue them in. Some people call them collage books online. They call them glue books, whatever. Uh, I make those all the time. I will be sharing some of those. Um, if there's any interest generated in seeing what I do with that. And so I got these calendars. You get a small one and the big one for a dollar, a two pack. So I got the landscapes, a two pack of the dogs, puppies, and butterflies. Uh, one is butterflies and one is blossoms. This little one's butterflies, blossoms. So that's what you get beautiful images that I can use in my art. There goes a mug. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Thank you for all the well wishes. I am feeling better. The only thing I have now really is some side effects from the prednisone. Um, but as I decrease the prednisone a little every day, um, that's going away too. So thank you for all your well wishes, people. I really appreciate that got some more of these little red truck and campers. I have a friend who asked me to pick some up for her and I got some extras in case anybody else can't find them. I got these red felt stockings that you can decorate any way you want and depending on the size of a Christmas journal I thought this might look nice on the cover. Some different red truck bags like little shopping bags. was neat I've never seen this there before and it was only at one dollar tree um it's called ornament filler and you get three different little things like these are little holly leaves and then red sequins and then mixed sequins interesting um got them in this color with the snowflakes and the iridescent sequins aren't they gorgeous oh I just want to have a whole jar of those and silver were there any more of those? Yes, there's one more. This is kind of like stars up here and gold sequins and a mix. I picked up some Christmas ribbon. And I got two sets of bells. The red, these are little bells. You can hang these from a Christmas journal. They're right, just the right size to hang off the side. That would be so cute. And then the other color that they had was kind of, um, they're just their silver and golds. Right? That's that. We're getting near the end. So I got some of this Christmas. It's called Willow. And it's got like the little, it's supposed to look like little ice on it, snow for Christmas crafts, that is so pretty. I, I love that. There's my extra sloth sticky notes. <laughs> I got a bag of these, Tina showed them, Tina Kazarian showed these glow in the dark beads. So I wanted to try those on a couple projects. Um, another one of these Christmas bushes. This one's called Holly Bouquet. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm making with all those, but I know I'm making going to make something. Some snowman sacks in a little shopping bag style. And last but not least, um, I've mentioned before that I love to glue the backs of these little uh, blank note cards, expressions from Hallmark. Dollar Tree sells these, and you get eight cards and envelopes 
So yeah, I can send them and sometimes I do, but I use them in my journals a lot. So I got that one with the sunflower. I already had that one, but it's running low. I've used it. Um, this one says, thanks for all the kindness you bring to the world. Love to send those out to some of my friends. And this one says, look at this little hamster and it says just a little thank you. I'm planning to cut him out and use one, you know, a couple of these as cutouts. Um, and then, you know, I'll send some. And I believe that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> uh, I have some other things from other places that I found in the garage today that I haven't shown. So I will be back. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you're enjoying the fall weather and um it's really nice here in maryland it's not as sunny but um it's kind of you know partly sunny but the temperature is nice it's in the 60s there's a little breeze going sitting out on my patio with the dogs just makes me so happy so have a great day everybody and i hope you'll click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already see you next time bye